Hello, everyone, and welcome to Agile World Wellness. Let's talk again about psychological safety. So today we will talk about other people in our lives who may be our resources and who may help us to be and feel safe, but somehow we're not using this great resource, which is so approachable and just on our fingertips. Uh, why I say so? I have been working with a lot of executives and uh, during the coaching session when we were uh, discussing the problems and the tasks to be tackled, one of the questions which made them rather, you know, shocked was who is it that you can really call for help? Who is it that that um, help can help you? Who is it who can contribute to the solution of your personal problem? And that was really very, very surprising for many people who got used to uh, working on their own, being very strong, being leaders, you know, knowing everything by themselves and not needing every, anybody to help them. Somehow in many societies, help is considered uh, as something bad. If you're asking for help, it means you are weak. If you ask for help, it means that you're not good enough. You don't know uh, things. You're not an expert. And this is, you know, very big blocker that people uh, never ask for help or don't do it as often as they could, uh, could. And they really miss the opportunities because sometimes if you ask somebody for help, you can really solve your task much quicker, and then uh, you, you will succeed, you would be able to do more or better, but you're not using this resource. And um, uh, it's very much to do with how you value yourself, your skills, your knowledge, and then asking for help is uh, like a red alarm saying you that, you know, now when you ask for help, you have a very low self-esteem. You need to punish yourself because you're not getting over it on your own. This is also very much to do with children. Remember, children, when they develop at a certain phase, uh, they want to do everything by themselves. And even if you're they're doing it for 30 minutes. They don't want you to interrupt. They want to do it by themselves. So at a certain stage, we really need to learn to stand on our own yeah. and solve our problems and be proactive and take the whole responsibility of our life, becoming adults, what we call adults. But then we lose this magic of actually linking uh, each other with each other and then actually assisting each other and helping each other and help is a great word uh, scientific evidence uh, says to us then when people help to each other there are two winners the one which is helped and the one who is helping so when you help you create such a great hormonal neuromediator cocktail which actually you know inspires you to do more and also be in a good mood and feel that you're a good person so what happens when you have somebody who can help you but you're not actually asking for help you're actually stealing the opportunity from this person to help and you're stealing the opportunity to feel that he is a good person a good expert a good human a great human uh, a great team player so by actually um, giving the possibility the opportunity of helping to other people you also contribute contribute to their lives just uh remember the last um uh, situation where somebody asked you for help and you solved somebody's problem and you made somebody happy most probably it also made you happy. It made you feel that, wow, I am capable. I can do that. I'm a good person. I have a good heart. I'm assisting. So that is why when you ask for help, it's not that you are, you know, um, in decreasing your own value. No, it's that it's okay to ask for help. And moreover, you very you are very helpful and you help somebody to increase his own value and isn't it quite human and isn't it quite contributional to the team because if you make other team players feel good about themselves they will be positive constructive engaged motivated and then there will be mutual benefit because more probably you're working on one product or project or outcome or value so helping is good um, and uh, it's beneficial for everybody, including the business result, because you can do something quicker or better with better quality. And also it's quite fun because it's with oxytocin level, it connects people, it's social interaction, socialization, which is good. 
Uh, you also help a person to, you know, value himself and feel also good about himself. It's also beneficial for, for the total team atmosphere. But sometimes still we are not asking for help, right? Uh, so uh, point number one, you need to analyze who are the people who can really uh, help you. Maybe somebody can share a contact, maybe uh, share somebody from his social capital. Maybe he knows a guy who can afterwards contribute to your project. Maybe he has some certain experience and he can share his fails and do's and dots and success stories. So you shouldn't do it from scratch. You can learn from somebody's mistakes and best practices. Maybe this person is just on the knowledge level, knows something, uh, can share maybe literature resources, um, maybe some links, uh, maybe some people, again, who have this information or data. Maybe you can uh, ask ask for help, which is not, um, you know, um, something which contributes to project directly, but you can ask for support, you can ask for uh, an advice, uh, just, you know, asking to help you to understand something just because you need to talk with somebody because we just when we talk, and we uh, when we uh, verbalize things, we we clarify things just our, on our own just by having a person who is listening to us with big ears. That is why the, the coaches, the psychologists, the consultants are so efficient because, you know, by briefing them, sometimes we understand at least half of the problem just because we have uh, put it in a certain uh, formulation in words. So... Um, Think who can help you in different areas of your professional life, maybe also in personal life. Who is it who can share recommendations and advice? Who is it who can do something together with you? And maybe for this person, it will be exciting experience. Maybe it's also for him an um, possibility to learn by doing together with you. So project-based learning, peer-to-peer -peer exchange. But also, when you are giving the possibility to other people to give and to share, the next step is to uh, think about yourself. What can you do in return? And who are the people who need help? Who are the people you can help today, this week or this month? And uh, you can scan people you're interacting with in your team, in cross-functional teams, maybe also your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, you know, maybe people on the road you meet. No matter, you need to treat it 360 degrees, I guess, uh, to train your helper uh, skills. Do the audit, analyze, and that get the ideas. Oh, actually, there is a new person in the team. And he doesn't understand as much yet about our processes. So I can help him because I made a file. The processes are there. So I just can share the file and then very quickly have a chat and explain it. Or there is somebody who is launching a project. And uh, I know I have a creative uh, thinker brain and I like generating ideas. So maybe I can ask him if he needs my help because I'm ready to do a brainstorming, share some cre creative stuff with him. Uh, think about what are the ways you can help, what are your skills, expertise, knowledge, who are the people who may need it now, but uh, you cannot help uh, to people who don't need help. You cannot help if you're not really asked. However, you can send a signal and you can verbalize and actually say that you are here and you are ready to help. And this is their choice to reject. And this is their choice to say, no, thank you. I'm, I'm doing it my, my own. I don't need it. And there's nothing personal, like nothing to be offended. Your task is to offer it in a very friendly way, uh, not too much pushy. And their right is either to take your help or to refuse it. And there's nothing bad about refusing it because that was your hypothesis. And we think with hypothesis when we work in agility, right? This is your hypothesis that he needs help and he needs help from you specifically, but it's just a hypothesis and it can be rejected. So another step is that uh, finding the right comfortable moment 
in an informal talk, small talk, maybe in the next meeting where you see this person say, hey, I know you're working on that project. Just by the way, I'm very excited. I can share some creative ideas. I have a file about processes. So anytime, just shout, I will be ready to help you. There will be people who will be very happy and very grateful. There will be people who will not accept it. And that's perfectly right. So in order to uh, create a truly agile team, a team which can be called team, we need to generate the culture of helping each other. We need to stimulate, stimulate help. We need to say that helping is cool, but receiving help is also cooler. Yeah, and we need to start with ourselves. Yeah, if, if the culture is not there, start giving help, start asking for help, you know, in public space where you communicate, share the best practices, say that, hey, we, we have created buddies within our team. They call collaborated with each other, they helped each other, and look, this is a great result, share the best practices. Helping is quite nice, I would say. It's very, very, uh, you know, it's really connecting the people uh, in the way maybe where Nokia failed to do that, but now you have the mission by connecting to each other, connecting the gaps, uh, connecting people in order to have a great product or a great value that you're building. So in order to have the psychological safety, we need to build a very helpful environment. We we'll need to learn to ask for help when we need it. We we need to learn to provide uh, help and to offer help to those who may need it. We need to learn to take it with gratitude and actually enjoy the process of helping. So helping is very, very helpful. Thank you so much. I hope to see you soon. I ha have a great day and think who is it you can help today and who can help you? Bye-bye. See you soon. Have a good day.